I did a lot of things that I didn't think I was gonna do. I thought I can handle everything. And just something told me just end it and kill yourself. You lose all self-worth, all self-control. I didn't want to live anymore. I hit rock bottom. By the time I was 16, I'd watched my friend get his head blown off a foot away from me. I was sitting in jail and just finally said, wow, I went from just a really good kid, good student to a full-blown drug addict, and it seemed like overnight. Everything I was doing was leading to destruction. I robbed people. Prostitution for drugs. Doing home invasions. I jumped people on the street. We kidnapped a few people. I would steal a lot. There was times when I came into my grandmother's house stealing her jewelry. I started robbing people, shooting at people. I started hitting my mom. Drugs took everything away from me. It takes your mind places that you have no control over. I woke up one day and found myself in the alley wrapped up in carpet because I didn't know where I was. If I weighed 105 pounds, I ate once a week. Even from the outside, if I looked happy, I really wasn't happy. I wasn't happy at all. I lost all my goals, my dreams. I just wanted to give up on life. And I saw death when I looked at myself in the mirror because of the, the drugs it was eating my life up. It was actually eating up my flesh. I went in the bathroom, I saw myself, I looked like an animal in the mirror. I got kicked out of my grandma's house and nobody gets kicked out of grandma's house, you know. Breathing was getting very shallow and I knew that's how people died off, off Oxycontin is they stopped breathing. I was facing a series of charges, about 12 felonies. The FBI was looking for me. You know, it was fun at first, and, and, and I thought that's how it was always going to be. All the problems that I had in the beginning got magnified towards the end with the drug use. It eventually just made it worse. And by more parting, it just led to um, more failure and more brokenness. The drug was saying, I'm not going to let you go. You're a prisoner forever. I was really losing myself. I wanted to just end my life. I've been arrested so many times and thrown in jail, and, and I had so many court cases. They're going to throw me away. There's no way for me to get out of this one. The life I was living had gotten me absolutely nowhere. I had to come to a place where I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. My respect for myself, my family, everything. I lost everything. I didn't have nothing anymore. This wasn't supposed to be your life!